with my underlying heart and respiratory health issues of course everybody had that during that time let me say for the record i was never really given the chance to sign the home confinement document i was imprisoned because i refused to sign away my rights under the constitution of the united states it was a surprise attack by presenting by presenting me with terms they knew would be impossible for me to agree to they were springing a trap as my happen in any authoritarian country, a country where individuals lack the rights of due process and freedom of speech. Within days, my wife found Dania Perry, a former prosecutor and a true criminal lawyer. Dania filed a writ of habeas corpus and an emergency restraining order joined by the American Civil Liberties Union. At a hearing 10 days later, Judge Alvin K. Hallerstein had little patience for the case made by Southern District Prosecutor. I made the I make the finding that the purpose of transferring Mr. Cohen from furlough to home confinement to jail is retaliatory, the judge said, and it is retaliatory because of his desire to exercise the First Amendment rights to publish a book and to discuss anything about that book or anything else he wants on social media and with others. In the beginning of this book, which I publish in full, with a full heart, I wrote that the President of the United States doesn't want you to read my story. Now I have the actual proof how how desperate he is to silence and prevent the world from hearing the story and the truth about Donald J. Trump, the real, real Donald J. Trump. I don't know, when I read the whole book and I wrote, read the last sentence, I don't think he portrayed Donald Trump as so evil. He portrayed him as um, just a rich guy with a lot of money who just has lots of sex and he's crazy about um, who he was as a celebrity. And he comes across as somebody who just looks up as a, to a celebrity. He wasn't able to portray him like worse than he was. To me, he did a good job by just owning up that he was disloyal and how he was totally enamored by the president. In a nutshell, all this book is all about is like, I love Donald Trump and I lied about it and I gave money. That's all this book is all about. And it is like 400 pages of blah, blah, blah. So rich people all cheat anyway. So it wasn't such a big deal. Um, I don't know if I can make a decision who should I vote, but in time, I may. <laughs>